Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to change my nose ring. And I actually got this done on September 19th, which was Madison's birthday. I took her out to get her nails done, and I'm just like, hey, let's reward me on her birthday. Because I worked, I worked hard to make that baby. I had a lot of complications with it. With the pregnancy, not, ugh. Did not call my daughter in it with the pregnancy. Anyhow, I've been debating on getting this done for a long time because I feel like I have a wide nose and I didn't think it looked good. Like, I don't care to, like, show a side profile because that don't bother me much, but I hate my nose straight on. And if I will look a little rough, it's because I just got home from work and it is 1 o'clock in the morning. But my youngest just went to sleep in our bed, and I don't want to risk waking him up, especially quite yet. Okay, so there is a corkscrew nose ring in right now, and it is ridiculously large. I mean, like I can feel it up here when it's flipped around, but like that is literally, I don't know if y'all can see it. That is ridiculously long. You see it out the bottom of my nose. So, I've been wanting to put a hoop in. And all I could find is this little bitty, 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 tiny nose ring. Which is, it's in silver color, which I think looks best on me. But this is a 22 gauge. This is what it came in. And these are at Walmart, and I'm just like, there's no way that's going to look good enough for me. Because I like where you can see the nose hoops instead of them being more discreet. Because obviously I have other facial piercings, so why would I hide one, right? Alright, so I went to Walmart. They had zero body jewelry. I mean, zero like normal jewelry, they they still had. I don't understand. So I went to Sally's and I found these. And they are silver with gold plate over it. And they are already sterilized. And these are 925 silver gold plate, 18 gauge, 5 16th like diameter, I believe see that right there and so I open the back and it is sealed to show that it is sterilized and I really like that because like I said this is what Walmart gives you and you could just peel it open and yeah no so first thing I'm gonna do is clean my nose and I am using a little napkin instead of a cotton swab because I don't want to risk like getting any fuzz or anything in this piercing while I'm going to be changing it which like I said I got on September 19th so I'm really not supposed to change it yet but anyone who knows me will tell you I'm impatient so before we actually get fully into this video don't forget to like hit that thumbs up um Make sure you go ahead and subscribe while you're at it too. Comment if you want to. Any questions, I'll answer it the best I can. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright, so getting some rubbing alcohol there. And what I was told to use to heal it was like saline solution, salt water saline solution. And I've done that, but with this jewelry coming out and a new one coming in, I want to make sure I use some rubbing alcohol. And I told my husband, you may be able to hear him snoring in the background. Um, I told him I was nervous about changing my piercing because, ooh, okay, you're trying to come out. Um... Because of how I have to like 
twist this out of my nose and I have another type of nose ring here. And this is what size this corkscrew is. And it is tiny, tiny, tiny. But it's quite small. The screw part on it is more short and blunt compared to what is in my nose, which I'll show you a comparison when I get this out. Okay, so I done cleaned up all of this. Everything's all clean and sterilized and all that fun jazz. So, like I said, these are the hoops that I got that I'm going to put in. And I like how thick that looks already. I'm so excited. Alright, so, sterilized. So, let's go ahead and open it up. If I can get this out, that would be great. There we go. Alright, and right now, I'm going to show you the size comparison of the one that I just bought versus the little bitty ones that Walmart has. So like I said, that is really thin, really tiny compared to that. Like you can't even see the little one in behind it. Like that's a big difference and that's really going to show. Now I do wish that it did not have the gold over the silver because silver jewelry looks best on me and I will always say that so <laughs> it's a little like clamp piercing I don't know if y'all can hear that uh, shutting <laughs> but I am nervous as hell because <laughs> I'm afraid this is going to hurt or try to heal up or something that's gonna be bad because it is me so oh lord all right here we go so i've watched videos and you just pull it out and kind of down it's like that you can see it's like hooked in my nose oh lord have mercy okay so we're that far no. Just twist it out. Oh my god. Okay. No, if this doesn't work, I'm in trouble. And it don't feel like it's working. It's not going in. Okay. Um. Okay, got the little bitty silver one in. Could not get that bigger one in though. And this is what I was afraid of. It does not look good on my nose. Okay, so. I'm going to take a second think about what I'm doing and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to be looking over here in the mirror to see what I'm actually doing while I do this. I'm going to try to put the bigger one in. And just like that, that little one's out. Okay, 
that's still not working and I do not understand why. This is not going very well. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, there it went. All right. So. Oh my god. That was scary for a minute. <laughs> I really thought that was not going in. And I am so freaking happy I did. Now we're going to clean it up. That burns a little because it was bleeding. And that is what we got. Definitely more noticeable. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was intense. Anyhow. Oh, it feels weird. What I meant when I said that the corkscrew that was in my nose was huge. Like, I mean, huge. I mean, let me show you. That's how far up into my nose I was. When I said I can feel it up here, I was not choking. And like I said, these are the ones I got versus what was in my nose. It's quite a difference. Speaking of quite a difference, this is just wow. Like I can feel the difference. I hope my nose doesn't swell up from messing with it too much. Because this is a snug fitting one. But geez, that was that was ridiculous. Um yeah, that's what it looked like changing my nose ring for the first time. So, like I said, don't forget to comment any questions you have. Give it give this video a big thumbs up because I'm doing this way before I'm supposed to, and it still looks cute, and it's actually showing you what this is like. It did not really hurt going in. Like I felt pressure, but that was it. But this is where I'm going. I'm going to leave this video. I'm going to go get ready for bed and go to sleep because I worked all week. And that's something else I'm going to fill you in on a little bit more in the next video. But thanks for stopping by. See ya. Okay, so. It is the next day after I changed my nose ring, and I think it looks pretty cute. I actually really like the hoop more than I thought that I would. The only thing that I'm struggling with is, like, I'll bump it or something, and it's still a little touchy from where it did not want to go in last night. And I just saw my husband, I said, babe the inside of my nose itches and I don't know how to scratch it because like if I rub my nose wrong or something then it's a little uncomfortable and he just looked at me like what is wrong with you but yeah if you're nervous about going from a stud to a hoop I'd say just go ahead and bite the bullet it's really not that bad but I think what I was having issues with is the fact that most hoops are 20 gauge and this is an 18 I was pierced with an 18 and I want to keep it as an 18 if at all possible and most hoops I can find are 20s so 
if you're wanting like the more small dainty look definitely go for a 20 gauge if you're wanting something that shows up more like mine here that is an 18 gauge and again this is the 5 16th in diameter 18 gauge all right so i just want to go ahead and put an update in here that way i can show y'all that even though i was having issues with it last night everything's good and just give you my personal opinion while i'm not freaking out all right bye